Hey y'all, this is Cheyenne and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming a get to know me tag. So I went on my phone and I looked up, you know, the get to know me tag and there was a bunch of them on there. So I just went ahead and picked one that seemed like questions that I could probably answer. And so I'm just filming this so you guys can just, like I said, get to know me. Um, I am new to YouTube so I don't have that many videos up. But um, eventually, hopefully I'll have more subscribers and followers and all that kind of stuff. And you guys will want to see this. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get started then. Okay, so the first question is, what is my full name? So I don't really want to give my full name. I don't know if that's weird or not. But um, my name on here is Cheyenne Arima. And that's how you say it. My middle name is Arima. So I'm not going to say my last name, but my middle name is Arima. And if you're wondering where that's from, um, my dad, he is from Trinidad and Tobago. And so there is like, I think a little city over there called Arima. And so that's how I got my middle name. So Cheyenne Arima. What is my zodiac sign? I am a Pisces, so my um, birthday is in March. Um, that's the fish sign. Number three is, um, what are my fears? So my fears are definitely bugs, bugs, and more bugs. I really hate bugs. They scare me for whatever reason. Even butterflies, I'm super, super, super scared of. I don't know why. That's just the way my mind is. But like literally terrified to the point where I will literally cry. So... And that's literally, and bugs are literally just everywhere. I just hate them so much. I know they're good for the planet, but I really just hate them. Okay. And so the next one is three things that I love. So of course my family, I love them very much. Um, my immediate family is my mom, my brother, my sister, and my cats and my dog. So I love them very much. I love my friends. They're super supportive and I just appreciate them a lot. They do a lot for me. And then I think last would probably be the beach. I do love the beach a lot. I'm super excited that I live somewhere near the beach now. So I can go there literally whenever I want. Of course, every time I go, I get a parking ticket. But that's besides the point. Other than the parking tickets, I love the beach as well. Okay, so next is my best friend. So I do, I don't have that many friends. I'm not, like I'm a people person, but I don't have that many people that are close to me. Um, I've had three super close best friends in my, in my lifetime. So um, when I was back at home in Indiana, um, a girl named Emily was, she was one of my best friends. Of course, I've had a few other ones, you know, throughout the years. Um, and then when I moved here, um, a girl named Brittany, she was, you know, one of my best friends too. And we're still, I'm still in contact with both of them. And then currently, um, Morgan's also my best friend as well because we do work together. We spend all of our time together. We pretty much do everything together. So I spend tons of time with her as well. So I appreciate all three of them and they definitely made my life amazing. They've definitely done a lot for me. And I hope I've done just as much for them. Okay, the next one is last song that I listened to. I think the last song I listened to was Love Drunk by Boys Like Girls. I know it's a throwback, but it's my favorite. Um, okay, the reason that I started YouTube. So I've been watching YouTube videos since I was in high school, which I don't know if you guys know that. Um, right now I'm 22 years old, so I've been watching them for at least eight, nine years. So um, my favorite YouTubers when I first started out was um, Megan Parkin and Andrea Russett. I'm trying to think who else. Those were my two main favorite ones that I used to watch all the time, but there's a few other ones that were that I really liked. But um, I've always been watching them. Like it's my go-to, like whenever I don't have anything to do or when I'm sad or when I'm happy, any, pretty much any time, I just like, I really like YouTube. So, and I always thought that, like, I wouldn't be good enough at it, or I'd be too scared to talk to the camera, or I would never, like, even right now, I don't have, really have that much equipment to do YouTube. Like, I don't have a really nice laptop or that nice of a camera or anything like that. I'm just working with what I got, and it's good enough for me, so I'm just really glad that I started it, because now, I think, I mean, I can't really go anywhere but up from here. And, um, I just generally like, you know, filming, photography, videography, all that kind of stuff, so that's why I like YouTube. Um, what's something that I really want? I think something that I really want is for me to wake up every day and remember that life isn't, like I shouldn't take it for granted. Like I feel like I get up a lot of days and I'm in a bad mood because of this or that or I'm at work and I'm in a bad mood and I just need to remind myself that, you know, life isn't that, you know, life's pretty short so I need to enjoy it and I feel like I never tell myself that enough so I'm trying to work on that. Um, the next one is my current relationship status. Um, I'm single right now. That's fine with me. Um, I normally, like the past few years I've been in, like, or this past, like, year and a half I've been in a serious relationship, and I'm no longer in that. Um, I think it's what's best for me, so, you know, the future holds whatever it holds, so it's not like I'm not necessarily 
looking for someone or anything like that, but it is what it is. Okay, the next one is my favorite song. So I don't think I can just pick one song because I love music a lot. But um, my favorite album is definitely, I don't know if you can see it. Oh, I'm kind of crazy. Fearless by Taylor Swift. That album is my favorite. It's always been my favorite. I, you know, it came out when I was super young in high school, but it's always my go-to. I have literally a tattoo that says Fearless. Not necessarily because, no, it kind of is. I just like that song a lot also. So that's probably my favorite song. But, um, yeah, I love Fearless. I love the album. I know every single, every single word to every single song on it. So I appreciate Taylor Swift. She's definitely done a lot for me too, especially growing up. Um, let's see what else. My favorite band. I don't really know. Like I said, I like music a lot. I really like Rascal Flatts. I don't think they make bad songs really. Um, I like Maroon 5 because Adam Levine is literally a god. Um, but yeah. Them two, definitely. Um, three things that upset me. So, one thing is people that flam, like, don't show up whenever you expect them to show up. I don't like that. Um, another thing, what's another thing? Um, that goes along with the thing, like, somebody that's just not there for you when you're there for them, that makes me upset. And then, um... I don't like when people don't like me. I know that's weird. And I know a lot of people don't like me, I'm sure. You know, not everybody's perfect. And, you know, people don't like people for whatever reasons. But I really genuinely am a people pleaser. I really like everybody to like me. I like everybody to get along and be happy and all that kind of stuff. So, those are my three things. Even though they're all kind of the same thing. Um, three things that make me happy. Definitely, definitely laughing makes me happy, which they go hand in hand. But somebody that can make me laugh, I really enjoy that. Um, the beach, like I said, that also makes me happy. And then also along with that, um, poetry really makes me happy. So like I showed in my last video, oh, let me get it. I got these books. No, oh, I can't reach. Okay. I got these books by Richson and I have all the rupee books. Poetry makes me super happy. It's super, a lot of these are super relatable. Like I think about stuff in my mind and I think that like, you know, I don't know how to put it into words and then I read it in a book and I'm just super shocked, shook whatever whatever you would say about it okay so next is an embarrassing moment okay so one time in middle school so I used to wear my ugh, I was a mess in middle school like ugh, I might insert some photos they might scare you but I was literally a mess all the time and so I used to always wear my hair like back in a ponytail like just like this and I look like a boy or I would just wear it straight and so one day that one of the popular girls in my class was like wow Cheyenne your hair is always straight you should try to curl it so I'm like okay so I slept in rollers that night and the next day I woke up and of course if you've ever slept in rollers whenever you pull your hair out like if it's if it's like dried all the way it's you look like Shirley Temple like it's just a mess uh, it's just a mess like it's just horrible anyways so I slept in them I went to school the next day and I was like wow my hair's curly like maybe they'll like it maybe I'll be cool blah, blah, blah. so anyways so the night at school and I'm in first period and this girl's like hey Cheyenne you did your hair and I'm like yeah blah blah and she's like oh did you do that just for um just to see the boys at whatever or she said she said some stupid stuff she's talking about like I was a cheerleader so basketball and she's like yeah I first she said I think you go to basketball games to watch look at the boys butts and like the whole basketball team was sitting at the next table so I was like great so I was embarrassed about that and she, honestly she probably doesn't even remember that but I remember this because it literally traumatized me like I was so upset I went to the bathroom and cried anyway so she said that and then she's like wow your hair is curly like like it doesn't really look curly it looks like mostly a rat's nest like what is on your head like and I don't even know if she said that or one of the basketball boys said that I don't know all I know is literally I was in tears I was like are you kidding me right now like I just tried to fly under the radar for the most part so I don't get made fun of and then this happened and so I was just so done and this was only first period the day had just begun so I asked to go to the bathroom I went to the bathroom I pulled my hair out of ponytail so I pulled all my hair back and out of my face because you know it was a rat's nest it was a mess and I literally just bawled my eyes out so that's an embarrassing story I guess mostly just a sad story um habits I have I don't really have any habits. I really like hot Cheetos and I like to eat them all the time. And I cannot eat my hot Cheetos unless I'm sitting in front of the TV and watching like a show. Like I can't just sit in my room and eat hot Cheetos. Like I have to be watching TV to eat them. But that's mostly with just eating in general. Like I really like, even with dinner, like me and my family, like we don't really sit at the table. We just go into the living room and eat dinner and watch whatever show or season we're on. So that's kind of a habit, I guess. My future goals. 
So eventually, I do like fashion, I like makeup, I like hair, I like social media, I like all that kind of stuff. I like advertising. So I'd like to get into that, which there's so many jobs that you can do for that. Um, maybe my, own my own boutique one day. I think that would be cool. Or just own my own business or just be able to work from home or even be a stay-at-home mom would be great for me. We'll see how it turns out. Um, something I fantasize about. I fantasize about mm, being able to travel the world being obviously this sounds cheesy but like being relevant on social media and like people knowing me like being famous I guess I think that would be super cool just because I think I can change people's lives and I think I can do something um my favorite store well I work at a store so obviously that's my favorite store I'm not gonna tell you what it is but um other than that I really like Urban Outfitters I never really get to go there I went there like a few weeks ago and I was just so shook and excited about it I wish I could afford it. And free people. I wish I could afford that too. That'd be great. Okay, so the next one is my favorite current YouTubers, which is a lot. Um, I like to watch Amanda Louise is literally my favorite YouTuber ever. She just literally seems so perfect to me and I just love watching her videos. I love watching her makeup videos too. Um, I like Antonio Garza. She's really cool too. And then of course I watch all the normal ones like James Charles and Laura Lee and all those people. And then I also like the little G family, like G-E-E. -E. They are super cute. Um, I'm literally always on YouTube. I also like to watch Talent Recap, which is all of like America's Got Talent, American Idol, and The Voice, all of their recaps and all their golden buzzers. I watch those all the time. I love golden buzzers. They just make me cry every single time. I literally watch them just so I can ball my eyes out. Um, the next one is the number of kids I want. Mm, I don't really know. I'm guessing two is fine with me. A boy and a girl would be great. Two girls, two boys, it doesn't really matter to me. Um, I don't think I want more than two. I'm one of three. I think three is a horrible number because when growing up we can never split anything right. Like if there's a chocolate bar, it's hard to split it into threes. Like who does that? No one. It's hard. Splitting half is fine or just having your own is fine. So I would like to have an even number of kids. So two or four. One is fine too. Um, one word that describes me crazy. My, oh, okay, this is the last one on here. My favorite quote. So, whenever I was growing up, there was this little, um, like, plaque that would hang in our house. And I just would always read it all the time. And so that's probably my favorite quote. And it's, and it goes, I don't even, I have it memorized in my head. It is, it's called A Miracle of Friendship. And it says, there's a miracle of friendship that dwells within the heart and you don't know how it happens or where it gets to start, but the happiness it brings you always gives a special lift and you realize that friendship is God's most perfect gift. I think that's just so sweet. <laughs> Anyways, that's my favorite quote. Okay, well I've been talking for like 20 hours now, so I guess that's the end of the video. I probably have to cut some of this out because literally I've been talking for 5 billion hours, just mostly rambling about nothing. Um, in case you were wondering, about what I have on. I have a tube top on. That's why it looks like I'm kind of naked. It's from American Eagle. And I have my scrunchie on. It's gray. And I have my necklace on. And that's about it. Um, today's been a really long day. I know I'm just going to keep on rambling even though my video is over. But um, today is Sunday. And like I said, I worked all yesterday. So today I woke up kind of later. And my friend Brittany came over and we got did our hair and our makeup. That's why my makeup is done. That's another reason why I wanted to film today because I actually have my hair and makeup done. Anyways, today is Hub Day 2.0, and Hub is a group that I'm a part of, and they're um, creators, so it's a bunch of photographers, videographers, makeup artists, models, all that kind of stuff, and we meet up like two or three times a year, and um, it's super cool. Like, we all met up, we always meet at different places downtown, and then we just take pictures. And so, we it didn't last very long today, mostly because it was super hot. Like, everybody was sweating, everybody's makeup was pouring off. It was really horrible. But um, we did that today, so I had fun. I always meet new people. Um, but it was a good day, so I'm pretty excited about today. But like I said, that's pretty much why I filmed this, because I already have my makeup on. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Tell your friends, because I only have like 20 subscribers, and it's really embarrassing. Also follow me on Instagram. Um, it's C-H-E-Y, the number 14, E-N-N-E. -N -N -E. And that's it. Thank you guys so much. Bye.